Imagine a world where governments no longer control money. A world where you can send funds to anyone, anywhere, in seconds, without banks, fees, or middlemen. Sounds like a utopia, right? This is the promise of cryptocurrency, a digital revolution that began with Bitcoin in 2008, introduced during the global financial crisis. Since then, cryptocurrencies have exploded in popularity, with over 23,000 unique coins now in circulation, at one point representing a combined market value of over $3 trillion. But is cryptocurrency truly the savior of our global economy, or just another overhyped trend? Let's explore the real facts behind the phenomenon, separating the myths from the realities. We'll uncover how blockchain, the backbone of cryptocurrency, works, its potential to solve real-world problems, and the controversies that continue to fuel skepticism. Stay with me as we dive into this digital gold rush, asking the big question, can cryptocurrency save the world, or is it just another Silicon Valley fantasy? It all started in 2008, amidst a financial crisis that shook global economies. Banks were failing, governments were bailing them out by printing money, and public trust in traditional financial systems was eroding. Enter Satoshi Nakamoto, a mysterious figure, or possibly a group, who proposed a radical idea in a white paper, Bitcoin, a decentralized digital currency powered by blockchain technology. Blockchain is essentially a secure, tamper-proof digital ledger distributed across a global network of computers. This innovation solved the double-spending problem without the need for a central authority. In Bitcoin's system, users could transact directly, bypassing banks entirely. Initially dismissed as a fringe experiment, Bitcoin proved its potential in 2010. When someone paid 10,000 Bitcoins for two pizzas, the first real-world Bitcoin transaction. Today, those Bitcoins would be worth hundreds of millions of dollars, symbolizing Bitcoin's meteoric rise in value. Yet, Bitcoin faced challenges. Could it handle the scale of global transactions? And what about the environmental impact of Bitcoin mining, a process requiring massive amounts of computational power? Bitcoin was only the beginning. Blockchain technology unlocked countless possibilities. Ethereum, launched in 2015, expanded on Bitcoin by introducing smart contracts, self-executing agreements that automate processes like insurance payouts, real estate transactions, and even election systems. In countries like Venezuela, where hyperinflation has devastated local currencies, cryptocurrencies became lifelines. People turned to Bitcoin and stablecoins, digital assets tied to real-world currencies or commodities, to protect their savings and access basic goods. Likewise, in regions without banking infrastructure, cryptocurrencies have provided millions with access to financial tools for the first time. But not everything about cryptocurrency is revolutionary. Critics point to its volatility, lack of regulation, and vulnerability to fraud. Major hacks and scams have cost investors billions, raising questions about whether the technology creates more problems than it solves. Cryptocurrencies undeniably hold transformative potential, they promise financial inclusion, reduced costs, and decentralized systems less prone to corruption. For example, blockchain is already being used to ensure fair trade in supply chains, verify carbon credits for environmental projects, and combat counterfeit goods. However, these benefits come with caveats. Cryptocurrencies need to address significant hurdles, including scaling up for global use, minimizing environmental impact, and navigating evolving regulations. Governments worldwide are now stepping in, with many developing their own digital currencies to combine blockchain's advantages with state control. Where does this leave us? Cryptocurrencies are neither the cure-all that enthusiasts claim, nor the catastrophic failure critics predict. They are powerful tools with the potential to reshape industries and empower individuals, if used responsibly. The real question isn't whether cryptocurrencies can save the world, but whether we can develop them in a way that benefits society as a whole. Like all revolutionary technologies, their impact will depend on how we choose to use them. Thank you for joining me on this exploration of cryptocurrency. Whether you're a skeptic or a believer, one thing is certain. Cryptocurrencies are here to stay, and their influence is growing. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the channel, 
and leaving a comment with your thoughts. Let's continue the conversation. After all, the future of money affects us all. See you in the next video.